Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Gallon back with another video and today I want to talk about the Xbox Live coming to Nintendo Switch there. And it kinda looks like the Xbox Live is coming to Nintendo Switch. Um so we don't um so the uh thing Microsoft actually said today there um the first party title games will not go to Nintendo Switch. It's only the third party title games what Microsoft has as DLC rights for xbox and playstation um those are the only ones that are going to go like battlefield 5 will come to the switch and rocket lead will come to the switch and uh like all those third third party title games what microsoft has as dlc rights versus like has dlc rights for those games those are going to go to the switch not i'm going to say this not um, uh, not, uh, the Xbox exclusives are not going to the Switch. Like, Halo, Gears, and, Halo, Gears, and Forza are not going to the Nintendo Switch there because of the, the, uh, because they, uh, Microsoft owns the rights on them, and I can understand why Microsoft doesn't, it doesn't want to give their exclusives away because that's, that will hurt their competition there. And I, I said this before in my previous videos why I think it's a bad idea. <clears throat> um, because if they give their, uh, like, Halo, Gears, and Forza to their competition there, uh, the competition's like, oh, well, why in the fuck am I buying an Xbox then? I can just play, like, Halo on PlayStation 5 or play play Halo on Nintendo Switch. I said that in one of my videos. So that's why I think Microsoft's not putting all... They, they came out and said today saying, yes, they are going to put Xbox Live on Nintendo Switch. But it's only the third-party title games are going to be exclusive to that. So like Android, um, the the ones that go on the Switch are going to be like third-party title games. They're, they don't give their first-party title games to their thing. So, technically, the third-party title games they have, it's like um, Battlefield 5, Rocket League, and Minecraft will be uh, on the Switch. Like, uh, some of them are on the Switch in the, anyways, but, like, say, like, the ones the Switch ha doesn't have, like Battlefield 5, they can actually play, they have to get an Xbox Live Gold description, and I think that's kind of stupid, in my opinion. I don't know why Microsoft just can't have that for fucking free, Except paying for fucking gold every year. <laughs> um, I can understand that. Um, to not pay gold every year and stuff like that. I think I don't know why they can't have that for free and stuff. Um, so, even if you want to play this these games on your Nintendo Switch, these third-party title games on your Nintendo Switch, you have to get a gold description. The ones are not even, like, went on the Switch. Even the ones that never went on the Switch, they're, like, uh, Battlefield Five. You have to uh, pay it there with gold description. You can actually play with Xbox players with the. Technically, it's like the crossplay there. You can actually play like say Battlefield Five, like on on X, on your Nintendo Switch with your Xbox, with or with the Xbox players and stuff like that. So, um, having all this going to the Switch, I think this is a kind of a okay move i think it's it's okay there i think it's a much better move and they they're gonna say it and stuff like that but the the only thing i think it, microsoft did something really really smart is not put the exclusives on the nintendo switch there they didn't put their exclusives on the nintendo switch there because it's saying they're not going to put like halo gears and forza on the switch it's only it's only uh it's only uh, it's only third-party titles games where Microsoft has the DLC rights for those for those games. So yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, and response. One, two, like this barren videos. Do like, you like my videos. Please subscribe. Comment, rate, and response. One, two, like this barren videos. Do like, comment. Out of here, peace.